Hey guys. Well, if you've been paying attention <laughs> to the COVID-19 virus, and I'm sure you have, we all have, right? You've, uh, you've heard the expression by now, you've heard it called a black swan. It's a black swan event. It was unpredictable. You couldn't, you couldn't underwrite for it. Uh, we all know that there's so many ways that we couldn't predict what we were supposed to do ahead of time. And it's caused us obviously to reinvent ourselves. Now, if you listen to these presentations often, you've heard me refer to when I started in the business in 1980. You see in 1980, when I started in the business, I was 20 years old. I was just a kid, right? I wasn't a 40 year veteran like I am now. But I entered into a business at that time, interest rates were 20% on mortgages. So um, mortgage companies, realtors, home builders, people that were reliant on mortgage financing, they were looking at it thinking this is a black swan. And by the way, they were right. It was a black swan. I entered the business and I'm buying seller finance notes. Now what happened in that market a lot of times, very, very, very common, was that somebody would take over the existing mortgage, which was written at a lower than market rate. And the seller would carry a second lien, seller finance second lien, and they would carry financing lower than the bank rates. So the new home transaction had a market rate of 10 or 12% interest. Sometimes it was even lower than that. And the market was 20%. We'll hand it to the realtors and the builders right? They, what they could do is they could create a situation with creative financing is they could fix the black swan problem with a creative strategy. Now, the problem is it was still drastically affecting their business because some people for certain characteristics and circumstances, they had to go get a new mortgage and somebody's making payments on their new house at 20% interest, imagine those payments, right? I walk in, brand new business, brand new kid in the business, but I'm buying seller finance notes. So there's been a bonanza. There's been a, a, a mountain of brand new seller finance notes created out of this situation. And there was very, very, very few people in the business. Hmm supply and demand <laughs> that was my first real experience with supply and demand in a business setting and i'll tell you right now i learned a great lesson we were finding a great amount of supply <laughs> and there wasn't a lot of people fighting over it so there wasn't a big demand but there was a big supply so i want to gauge how you call this market situation a black swan. Now, the unemployment is a terrible situation. The death and the sickness is a terrible situation, right? All of the people that have been negatively affected is a terrible situation. That is a black swan, okay? We're not gonna change that. We're not gonna call it anything other than a black swan because it is. But here's what may not be a black swan. What may not be a black swan is how you could approach opportunities in the market. You see, the mar these market conditions are disrupting the traditional lending market. Let's just say drastically. And so those market conditions are driving us into opportunities well, that they didn't exist before the virus. So in 40 years, I've had to reinvent myself many times. The market's good, the market's bad, interest rates are high, interest rates are low, there's a lot of credit available, whoops, there's not a lot of credit available, properties are inexpensive, properties are super high, all these different market conditions. This is just rolling with the market. So when this started and we started really, really focusing on the market conditions and what could be done, then it became very evident to us that while the, the COVID-19 virus is a black swan, our business did not have to be a black swan. 
our business is the busiest I've been, well, for the month of May. Uh, and and all of the months around that literally are the busiest I've been in the training business since I've been in the training business. I've had more students come to note school in this era since the virus started than I've ever had in any segment ever in the past. So see, people see there's an opportunity. They're not sure exactly how to act on it, but they definitely see there's an opportunity. What we're trying to do is when they come in and spend time with us in training, is we're trying to like go through a step-by-step -step process and explain what that is. How can the business not be a black swan to you? What could you do about it? What would be your options? What would be a void in the market that you could open up and fix? That's pretty much the punchline. Entrepreneurs note people, solve problems that conventional real estate and financing don't solve that's that's our niche and we try to do it well and right now the market opportunity is allowing us a lot bigger gap a lot bigger uh entrance into the market than we've had in pre in, in previous years black swan for the note business no way black swan for the covid 19 virus for sure so we're not belittling the, the pain or the suffering that anybody has experienced. We are saying that we, we are fortunate enough to be exposed to a business that has a solution that a lot of traditional real estate and traditional mortgage financing is not able to fix right now. Be encouraged, be encouraged. Make your business not a black swan business. See you later. Hey, for those of you guys that are still watching, hey, remember, like this. YouTube loves for you to like what I'm saying, and I love for you to like it too. And subscribe. Now, a lot of people ask us on a regular basis, what do I do? How do I progress? How do I learn more about what Eddie is talking about? Well, right here in the band, here's some information we'd love to share with you. We've got great articles, great stories, great training of all types that show you how to position yourself in the market and position yourself for the market ahead. We'd love to hear from you. Let's, uh, let's take action. Let's go kill this business that's going to be ahead of us because the opportunity is going to be incredible. See you later.